a star. Star. Dick and hips come get in my car. Get ready with me for school at 5 a.m. You might be wondering why I wake up so early. It's because during Ramadan, I wake up for breakfast around 5, so I just stay up. I started the process by giving myself a blowout. Well, a fake one, using a curling iron. Listen, you have to trust the process. At first, I started off with really tight curls. This reminds me of how I used to do my hair for my middle school homecoming. Curling my curtain bangs is a little bit tricky, but I just curl them and then I put them in a roller. And while that sets, I just brush out the curls. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after. Definitely better. With the fit, I decided to wear a white button up and jeans and this ed hardy vest that i wore to meet bella hadid and i threw on this headband to complete the look i was going for like a 90s schoolgirl vibe okay and this is the final look with my bag and everything now i have three hours before my class starts Have you ever asked your bitch for other bitches? Get ready with me for a school excursion. It's five o'clock in the morning. I do not wake up this early. This is extremely early. I wake up at seven o'clock, the earliest for school. Well, the latest is like 7.10. It's actually five past um, five and I have to leave at 5.15. So I really don't have long at all because I still need to get changed. Tomorrow um, is a weekend, which I'm so excited for. And I have a friend's party, which is going to be a lot of fun. But I also need to do a lot of studying and catching up because I know. Oh. What was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. The plan is when I get on the bus, I'm going to put my AirPods in and I'm going to fall asleep. Okay, I am ready to go. My respect for people who wake up this early in the morning. Don't know how you do it. Hot to hide. Hot to hide. Gotta let you go. I ain't gotta let you go. I must. The only one is holding me down. Back, back, back. No, 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 no,
Somebody's sleeping in my I be kicking, I don't know what Shorty a daddy, she don't give a fuck She be tweaking, she shaking her butt And that boy's a cheater the way that he want He dumb, he a pot Bitch on my body, she tore my gun You run, don't stop I go I started my morning super early at 5 a.m. and decided to record it. I had to start off with some breakfast, of course. Then I got ready, got on the bus, and got to campus before the sun had even risen. We prayed Fajr, and then I planned out my day, and then I joined my meeting. Once the meeting was done, I stopped at the Musk booth selling sweaters and grabbed one of those brown sweaters because I have been wanting one for so long. My friend and I stopped at MDCL to grab some coffee. Well, I got a nice tea, and that was my morning. Taylor Swift and Mirabal. Best two combos. Hey, jam session's over. Let's get ready for school. You make me give number. Me no feel who can pass. She give me eye contact. Oh baby, just come on. Oh baby, just give me this your love. Me I go show you love as long as you go with me, Joe. Your body must no kill a man. I know man to be one of them. Colombia, your body now him. I want to make my mind a rest. He better make a. Once upon a time, I believe it was a Tuesday when I caught your eye And we got on something, I hold on to the night You looked me in the eye and told me you loved me Were you just kidding? Cause it seems to me This thing is breaking down, we almost never speak I don't feel welcome anymore, baby, what happened? Please tell me, cause one second it was perfect Now you're halfway out the door And I stare at the phone, he still hasn't called And you feel so broke, you can't feel nothing at all
walked in the club But everything changed when I walked in the club He was looking at me and out wow The aura on my body, I drip and I drown So he says, I heard you're a singer I live in a penthouse, it's on the east side I can tell what he implied I don't trust my decisions, I make after midnight Ah, uh, that's like, hey Keith Call this new bitch mainstream Toxic, hypnotic Never doing that again. All right, so here's my 5 a.m. morning routine as a future millionaire. Cold shower to start off with, no excuses, get stuck into a little bit of meditation, get downstairs, get working. Today I did a bit of editing and then I recorded some videos as well. I had my breakfast, bit of oats, bit of cottage cheese, nice and healthy, head off to school, get on the train. And then I arrive at school with three hours of work behind me, ready to attack the day. Cassie decided to wake up at 4 a.m. that morning to get ready for school. She needed to clear her head. And for those three hours she spent getting ready, she only thought about one thing. This is my 5 a.m. morning routine as a law student. I wake up, I get ready, and I head to the gym in my building. When I come back, I take a shower, do my skincare, and get ready for the day. The thing I make sure to do is make my bed and clean my part. I get some much needed coffee. Start my work by writing out my to-do list for the day. I start answering emails, and then I go straight into my homework assignments for the day. I think I ate some. Hey, wake up. Yeah. Some of us aren't getting any. I love Cocoa Krispies. The kids are gonna want them. Does that have sugar in it? No. Mascara. I knew I was gonna put it on like right now and get back to it. Mom, can I put strawberries? Dogs have babies. Drink this one. Do you want butter? Now we have to close the stick, yeah. I'll do the bottom if you do the silverware. Tell the 655! Close the door. Did you feed the dog, Dad?
My alarm rang at 5 a.m. I turned my phone off and said just five more minutes. Went back to bed. <laughs> 7 a.m. Oh, panic. There is no reason to go to class anymore. Like, what's the point? What's the point? But I have a test. My mom had to call me to wake up. Ew, I look like a tree. I don't have time for this. I don't have time to change. <sighs> My room looks like the aftermath of an earthquake. Pimple coverage. I don't have time. But I gotta keep it out for Selena. Team Selena all the way. Okay, we're gonna pass my test. We're gonna get an A. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I just got out of the test. I definitely failed. I could have slept more. Bitch, I'm stylish. Black talk, big t shirt, Billy. Watch on my wrist, but I want. 5 a.m. day in the life of a 17 year old that's in college. Nobody is coming to save you, and the sooner you realize that, you'll start to show up for yourself. When I got back to my room, I made up my bed, I got dressed for the gym, and I stretched. When I arrived at Planet Fitness, I felt like doing the most bare minimum workout. But I had to ask myself, do you want to grow or do you want to be comfortable? So I got on the bench and I lifted weights, and then I got on the Stairmaster for 15 minutes at an incline of 7. When I arrived at Kroger's at around 6 30, I did some grocery shopping, and when I got back to my room, I put up my groceries and I had a conversation with my mom. It was so good talking to her and we haven't had time to talk in a while we, we talked for an hour and a half so i had to start sending emails and doing some small tasks while we were on the phone i drank a protein shake and then i went to the calf where i got breakfast i ended up eating eggs and strawberries when i left the calf it was time for my nine o'clock class which was psychology my 10 o'clock class which was biology was canceled so i came back to my room to do a lab report and then i had my favorite snack which is yogurt with granola and i drank my greens at 11 o'clock i had political theory and then at 12 o'clock i had my international relations class this class pissed me off because it seems like she was comparing the black lives matter movement to asian casualties Anyways, I went to the cafe and they had Asian chicken, so I got that and some rice. And then the straight men that were sitting in front of me started talking about getting pegged. Lord knows why, but child, anyways, so I wanted to go take a 10 minute nap before doing community service. My scholarship requires that we do 50 hours of community service per year, and I've only completed 35, so I must do that. When I left the community service, I decided I wanted to FaceTime two of my friends to catch up with them, but then I was drained, so I took a nap. And then here's me laughing because I woke up three hours later. I did not hear the alarm, so I put these chicken tenders in the air fryer, and I went to go take a shower when i got back i had broccoli the buffalo chicken tenders a pink lemonade and my multivitamins i did my night routine and then i had about three and a half hours of homework to complete i really wanted to hop back in the bed but quitters never win so i stayed up to complete my work and that's a if it makes you feel good do it don't care about what other people say people there will always be small-minded people around you but i think it's just so important to let those people be like white noise focus on yourself focus on what you love and let all of that other negative